Hello everybody, I'm Marsha Martin, Longmont City Council, and I'm here to tell you that I miss you and that I'm proud of you. I miss the lively, busy Longmont of just last month. I even miss getting stuck behind the trains. But I'm really proud of our empty streets, proud of all the offers of help people are exchanging on Facebook and Nextdoor, and I'm just really proud that the only place I can find a crowd is in the drive through line at Culver's. That means that we're doing what we're supposed to do. That means that we're taking this stay at home order seriously and respecting each other. Our businesses really deserve our admiration for how they've adapted. Do you think they're making any money staying open just for carry out? They're doing it for us to put money in the pockets of their cooks and their cashiers. They're converting their bussers into drivers. I hope they're making their rent. But the only selfish motive I can put on them is of keeping your loyalty so you'll come back at the other end of the tunnel and eat with them. You know what tunnel I mean. I'm smiling because there's a light out there and it is not the oncoming train. It's the hope that we're building together. Did you know that there is a realtor over on Long's Peak who's giving away cleaning supplies from his front porch, even hand sanitizer and toilet paper? So you might want to stop by and add to his supply if you've got any extras, because I'm sure he's not going to have any trouble with getting rid of what's there. Did you know our craft distilleries are making purified alcohol for disinfecting? Donating that too. Some even retooling to convert it to hand sanitizer, which is harder and harder to get those little bottles. Our city staff is working around the clock to bring it all together. The common thread in this is common for the common good. Common good, that's all of us. So thank you, everyone, from the bottom of my heart. Now I've got some favors to ask of you. First, if you haven't already, please watch the governor's speech from March 27th. It really explains why we're doing what we're doing. And it's easy to find on his Facebook page, Governor Jared Polis. And today, March 30th, he showed us the first evidence that this is all working. That's a great thing. Second, comply. Most of you, of course, already are, but all are needed. All of us. Practice social distancing. Wash your hands. Stay home. Walk in your own neighborhood. Spread the word. If you see somebody doing something unsafe, just say something. You can be the Grinch who drives the kids off the playground very nicely. The life you save may be their grandma's. That's all, that's all we need to do, just do our best. Smile at your neighbor from across the street, call your friends. And if you see a public servant, whether police, fire protection, public works, please thank them. They are risking themselves for us. They are working so hard, hardest of all, and it's always been for the common good. Now, be well.